Hello, welcome to my channel. Here I have a Bayarna pellet gun. Um, they call it a pellet gun somewhere on their website. But um, I ordered this obviously for safety reasons. Because I know, like say if I'm going to be traveling or even just walking, you know. Um, and so with... I mean, I'm not trying to promote, you know, for people to to buy this uh, Bayerna pellet gun, um, obviously, but um, it's called the Bayerna launcher. But you know, when I found this online, it had like two options. You could do um, a pepper spray like balls like these of pepper spray or but see this is kinetic um so i live in california correct so i was not able to purchase the pepper spray pellets i was only able to purchase the kinetic pellets which is fine i mean i was a little bummed out because i was thinking that'd be so awesome to have um the pellets you know with the pepper spray you know purchase some with because you can purchase uh separately i had a this okay so all this you see here was a set or like a bundle and i made out uh, i know i i ordered this back in november of 2021 and obviously i haven't used it because i haven't gone traveling and i really don't um go out right now um so anyways, when I placed this order, I was, uh, my concern was like, well, if I ever travel, you know, I want to be safe or feel safe at least. Um, they do have six different colors of the, um, of the, of the a launcher. I ordered black because I would assume that black would be more intimidating because if you pick the other colors that they have, which was like tan, gray, black, yellow, pink, and orange. Well, you know, I feel like any other color would literally tell people it's not a real gun. I mean, it's not a real gun. This is not even a gun. It, they call it the a launcher. You know, a pellet gun launcher. But... You know, if if I ever did feel threatened and I really needed to use this, like, I would want that person that's going to cause me harm or, you know, or harass me or whatever, um, <clears throat> to, to think that it's a real gun to scare them off. Like, if you whip out a pink gun, you know, a pink launcher or a yellow one, they're just going to assume, oh, pff, she's trying to scare me with, he or she is trying to scare me with um, one of those, what is it? those uh, racetrack guns? You know, when you're at the racetrack and they blow off the gun so that the runners could start the race. Uh, like, I don't want nobody to think it's that. I'd rather think it's the real thing just so that it could, um, like, scare them off. You know what I mean? So that's the only reason why I bought a black uh, launcher. So I just wanted to go through that way, you know, <clears throat> uh, what comes with this bundle. I, it was like a holiday bundle. So I just wanted to do like measurements, uh, show you what came in my bundle. And I just looked up on the website. So it looks like they have more, um, accessories. I had ordered because I don't remember if my bundle was, um, yeah, it was customizable, kind of. And, like, it came with a standard bundle, but I was able to add, I think it was this. Or maybe it was this. I don't remember. <laughs> so, I have the waistband holster, which I thought this would be pretty cool to have. Uh, I just wanted to go over this. So it looks like you can clip this on a belt or even into your pants. Um, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 
probably even through your belt or through your pants. See these two little black, or not, they're not little, but these black clips. And then the pistol or the pellet gun would just go through here. Um, so, but I just wanted to go over like some general information. Um, so it came with this card best self-defense choice for uncertain times whatnot but right here is what i was trying to read it says right here less lethal protection no permits required no federal license required no background checks co2 powered 60 foot range um tsa approved and it says compressed air gun carry-on bags and then it says no check bags yes so this means that you can carry this or transport it you know uh, at the airport not on your carry-on bags but the checked-in bags the ones that go um, underneath the airplane um, but then it says special instructions may be carried and checked in baggage without compressed or oh I don't know anything but States and municipalities may regulate possession and use. I mean, I wouldn't risk it, though. I would probably find out if any of this is true. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? I, I would just, I mean, maybe all this is true, but I think I would probably investigate it first before actually trying to carry it on a, onto a plane. I mean, come on, I'd be scared enough uh, wearing the, like, you know, what if I got pulled over, you know, buying black, you know, the black um, pellet gun launcher, was that a mistake that I made that I bought black? Because like, let's just say I had this in the car and a cop pulls me over for whatever reason, seatbelt or whatever. Like, would they think right away that it's a real gun? Or do police have a good eye on knowing what is a real gun? What, you know, which is a real gun or whatnot? You know what I mean? Like, I would hate for them to, you know. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be, like, a weird situation. But, I mean, like I said, I was um, purchasing this so that if I'm ever traveling or walking you know like hiking and somebody just randomly tries to you know start well you know cause harm or insinuate that they're gonna you know cause harm I think that's the only way I would actually use this is if somebody's trying to inflict harm on me or if I think they're gonna try to you know mug me or do something that I you know what I mean like <laughs> I wouldn't just whip this out um for no reason you know um I guess the same reasons as somebody would use a real gun but I mean I know with what's going on about the school shootings and whatnot um <clears throat> So anyways, I got this holster and I already showed you where the clips are at. And then this, this is really cool. I had to get this. Let's see. Um, this is a personal safety alarm. Okay, this sounds really cool, right? But, you know, the idea. But somewhere on here, it says, Warning, exposure to sound emitted from this device may, ca may cause temporary or permanent hearing loss or damage <laughs> that's the only thing that i'm like wow i'd be scared to use this for no reason like you know the like if i get tempted to see if it works i'm not gonna pull it but it says that um and it does come with batteries the batteries are included and it says that it's those flat batteries um gosh what let me see It says it takes, oh, where is it? The CR2032 batteries. 
and that it takes two and that they did come included and I think you have to pull yank this so like do you see that you just pull this and this comes off of this thing and I'm not gonna try it because I'm not about to lose my hearing I like I said I only want to use these products if I really have to um, so that's cool and then I ordered <clears throat> some spare uh, CO2 cylinders somewhere I read that they have to be the ones that are labeled by or not but these don't and I read on this thing that it says due to the worldwide shortage of the eight gram co2 canisters we had to source canisters from alternative supplier suppliers etc etc um two four six so there's 12 of these in the box um and it said somewhere that these can um that the pellets shoot up to 60 feet <clears throat> which is fine i mean <laughs> So this one, I believe, oh look, warning, cancer and reproductive harm, what, what doesn't have all that. Um, so let's see, the kinetics, so this is supposed to have 95, and look how small that is. <sighs> Do you see that? It's like three inches. Uh four inches you know what i mean it's pretty small for, i mean this is 95 and the pictures uh these canister or you know this jar looks a lot bigger <clears throat> and you know i didn't know from look looking at pictures how big these little um pellets are but they're just So let's see, and then these are, uh, let's see, those, let's see, I think those are called base plates, and I'll show you what, where these go. So let's measure the case. So from here to here, it's like 11 and a half inches. Um, wide and then the depth I think or the length would be 10 inches and then you know I'm just trying to give an estimate three inches depth yeah width length and depth okay and then it has well then you open this and it has this um pouch Right here it's like a mesh pouch you could put you know the accessories in there whatnot and then it has this foam thing so that nothing <clears throat> is loose flopping around in the case <clears throat> all right <clears throat> This is actually glued to the case. I guess that's like their logo. See that? Right there. Uh, so, okay. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I think that's what these are for. <laughs> they go in like that. These base plates, they go in. Or maybe I'm doing this one wrong. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh that's what these are for and these came loose um they were actually in that mesh pocket so this is fine i'm not gonna waste time trying to put those in <clears throat> and so let's see these things are five inches long <clears throat> This, hopefully 
hopefully this helps is about let's see seven and a quarter from the this side to the side um this is like what two inches where the handle is at and then from here to here it is five and a half inches about from here to here um <clears throat> the instructions on the front of the manual says you have to absolutely read the manual and learn you know um the safety and whatnot before use and storage well oops i am actually barely trying to figure this um launcher out <clears throat> So, I just know that from right here it says safe, and then the other right here it says fire. See? So, I'm going to put it back to safe. And then to take this cartridge out, you just push this little button right here. Just like that. I don't really know how to use this actually, because obviously I have not read the manual. Um, I scanned through it or skimmed through the manual. Um, these cartridges, oh, see, look, the difference. These are actual, the actual Byrna um, CO2 cylinders versus these, how they had to go to a different source. See that? Oh, that's an oil, sorry. That's an oil cartridge, sorry. See, this is like, what, an aftermarket one? <laughs> and this oil, see, I don't even know what this oil is for, but see, it says oil. I'll find out. I will read the manual, and I might do another video um, strictly if if you're interested in purchasing uh, one of these uh, launchers. And this is a not, this video is not sponsored. It's just me trying to give the reviews um of, of this product uh, dimensions and everything that you might want to find out before you decide if you want to buy one um it did say that you have to store these um in a certain temperature and it did say that if you're out and about and it and it's really hot outside and if these reach that after you shoot it you know one of the these pellets and that if it's really I didn't get that. Could and that if it's really hot outside that these could actually cause the the launcher to to shoot again so i do agree that it is best um to read the user manual um i could somehow I could figure out how I could post this um you know it's just everything about the CO2 cylinders the safety operation I would actually really would love to just get myself familiar with this um You know, and like I said, I, if I were you, I would, um, before taking it to the airport, if you are going to plan on taking this with you, um, find out first, you know, um, just because this says that it, that it is TSA approved. I mean, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to, these things are not cheap. You know what I mean? They're not cheap. Um, I remember years ago, I think it was the last time I traveled on a plane. I got butt hurt over um, this body lotion that I bought at a store in Florida. And I was bummed out that I wasn't able to take it with me. And that was just like, what, a $10 lotion? 
I mean, this product, um, you know, it's all together. I paid with, um, uh, it will, <clears throat> okay. All together. I paid $455 or 14 cents. I didn't pay shipping. The taxes was 3117, but the subtotal was 423 and 97 cents. And um, they did reduce 145. I'll show you. I think there was like a intro picture at the beginning before this video, or you know, before this recording of the actual product. Um, see, I got a promo where they deducted 145. So, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I, like I said, I am trying to learn myself and get familiar with this product. And I'm not trying to promote, you know, um, these pellet launchers. But, you know, like I said, I personally thought that this would be really nice to have for peace of mind maybe it was a mistake that I bought a black one and not orange but like I said I actually want black so that it could scare off you know whoever <laughs> is trying to you know um cause harm or whatnot or you, you know what I mean so anyways Thank you for watching and like I said if you have any questions please don't hesitate because any of your questions might help me um, learn more and study about this and I will um, I will try to uh, familiarize myself that way maybe if I could do another video going over the user manual that way if you do decide to you know uh, purchase one of these for yourself or for a friend or for whoever and after this video and if you're still you know interested you could look forward to the video where i'd be going over the user manual and i will not post a video of me trying to shoot it i'm actually scared <laughs> i'm assuming it would probably i don't know bounce if I shoot it like on a fence and it might retract and like I don't know hit my cars all right well thank you bye